welcome back everyone and in this video we will see how we can create strings and manipulate them in Swift 3 so first we will let's create a constant string which you can create by using the keyword let so let's hit let and let's say it is name of type string and assign it the value and the name that you want so I'm assigning my name so we have created a simple string which is storing my name so if we try to change the name it should show an error because this is constant so as you can see that on the left side we have an error which is the same error cannot assign to a <coughs> let constant so let's remove this line of code so let's see how we can create a variable string which can be manipulated further in our program so I think we should remove this code and let's create a variable and it should be name of type string actually we don't need to give the type so it will automatically know so let's say SAMRTH this is my name so I've created a string which stores my name so now what we have to do is let's see some methods which you can use on string so suppose we have to check whether our string is empty or not so we have provided with the function called is empty which you can <coughs> use anytime in your program so we can do this by this is the name of our variable and by using a dot notation we can call the method the name of the method is is empty you can see that it has automatically pop up in Xcode so let's hit enter and you can see that name is empty so it is displaying false which basically means our name is not empty so let's check it for an empty string so let's create an empty string okay so now let's check it for empty dot is empty so you can see that it is displaying true <coughs> which means that our this string is empty so let's uh, see a second method which is to capital the first letter on our string so here you can see that all the letters are in small so we will use a method which will automatically convert my first character into capital letter so we can do this by name dot and we can use the method called capitalized and just hit enter you can see that on the right side the output is summer with a capital S so these were the two methods so, and there are some methods also like if you want to compare two different st strings and some other methods like that if you want to check out all the methods you are f free to check out the Apple documentation which ha which has listed all the different methods which you can use for your string so basically for a string I want to teach you one important thing which is string interpolation so string interpolation basically means that you can use a variable inside a string so let's understand this by an example suppose you have a variable called age and your age is 25 and you want to display a string which will say I am 25 years old so basically let's create a string which will display the message so you can do it like this I am 25 years old but what if we want we will but what if we have changed the age to 26 but this will only display that my age is 25 so basically to do this we use string interpolation so let's instead of 25 hard coding 25 we can use string interpolation so we can use a backslash and two parentheses so this is a simple method to use string interpolation and inside this brackets we can use the name of the variable that we want so we want to use age so just hit age and press enter so you can see that now the message which is displaying is I am 26 year old so let's change the age to 56 and let's see so you can see that it has automatically changed our output to I am 56 years old so basically this is the use of string interpolation if we want to include any variable inside our string
this is very use very useful we will use this many times when you are building real world applications for iOS platform so this was about strings in iOS thanks for watching this video